Boti ya kitaifa ya majadiliano sasa imeundwa rasmi baada ya viongozi wa wajumbe kusaini mfumo uliokubaliwa ambao unaimarisha kamati hiyo na mjadala wake kisheria. Haya yanajiri siku moja tu baada ya bunge la seneti kuweza kuidhinisha rasmi kamati hiyo. Mwandishi wetu Gitoga Ndwiri anaarifu zaidi. Dali committee shall formulate and adopt a framework agreement to guide the bipartisan talks. Baada ya bunge la seneti hapo jana kuidhinisha rasmi kamati hiyo ya wanachama kumi ambao wanashiriki mazungumzo ya uwiano wa kitaifa kati ya serikali ya Kinyakonza na mrego wa Azimio. We continue to reiterate that this is serious national work. If ever there was a moment that this country should come together, it is now. And, and we are determined uh, as, as a team to make sure that happens. And we continue to tell Kenyans to ignore the naysayers. There will always be those who do not who feel threatened for whatever reason by something so illustrious because this is wonderful work and we 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 going to move very very fast kamati hiyo ambayo jukumu lake ni kutatua mzozo wa kisiasa kati ya Kenya kwanza na azimio na hasua kufuatia uchaguzi mkuu wa mwaka jana we have adjourned to friday this week at 10 am to allow the secretariat and the technical teams to work on prioritization of the issues and guide us on how we prioritize what issues do we begin with so we'll be able to communicate that decision once we meet again on Friday on the question of whether we are able to stop the selection panel we are not writing to them to uh, stop doing their work it's just to take uh, what has been described by the honorable Eugene Omaro in our meeting as judicial notice of the ongoings of this national dialogue team kamati hii ina siku sitini za kujadili na kupatiana ripoti kuhusu mapendekezo hayo therefore even as they progress their work then they take note that it's part of the issues that uh, we are engaging on and uh, for sure i am certain uh, when we begin to engage with stakeholders those are among the stakeholders most likely that we will be engaging with a lot of work will be happening also i think sometime we have agreed on the work plan again um, the dates and everything and when to have stakeholder engagement for example that is clear and so we are ready to sign we are ready to go a lot more work remains to be done katika mazungumzo hayo Kenya kwanza inaogozwa na kiongozi wa wege katika bunge la kitaifa Kimani Chumwa Governor Cecilia Balire Senator Aaron Cheriot Hassan Omar Hassan na Catherine Wabilianga azimio kwa upande wake inaogozwa na kinara wa ipa Karonzo Musyoka kiongozi wa wachache katika bunge la kitaifa Opio Wandai Amina Mnyanzi Eugene Omarwa na seneta Okongo Mogeni Ene kiripoti ya Runiga GTN jina la Gunigetonga Dubiri